Hello everyone, welcome to today's class section. My name is Honor Awenede. Our topic for today is vocabulary development. We're going to be talking about collocation. Our objectives are, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to identify collocations in sentences and passages, explain the meaning of collocation, use them in sentences, and find them in dictionary. What is collocation? Collocation can be defined as a group of words that often go together. This simply means words that fit together. When we say heavy rain instead of big or strong rain, it conveys the meaning that it is raining heavily. Although, in the above example, strong rain or big rain conveys the same meaning. In fact, both of them are also grammatically correct, but the use of big rain or strong rain will sound strange. Thus, we use every rain to sound natural and lot better English. Why do we make use of collocations? We make use of collocation because it makes the use of English language natural and interesting. It follows a particular order which helps in adhering to predecided and its proper structure of the English language. It helps in beautifying the language. It enhances the use of language and thereby comparatively leads to innovation of the English language. Types of collocation. One, verb collocation. Collocations that are used extensively, it tends to involve verb plus now formation in day-to-day -day situation. Examples are to save time. You will save a lot of time if you concentrate on your studies rather than browsing the internet. The verb word here is save time. Another example is to come prepared. You have a presentation tomorrow, so make sure that you come prepared. Collocation in this sentence is come prepared. Another one is to find a replacement. Nigeria team needs to find a replacement for John as soon as possible. The collocation here is um, find a replacement. Second collocation is adjective collocations. Many collocations can be formed when you use, when you add adjective with now and um, adverb. Examples are deep, deep feeling, deep pockets, deep sleep, deep trouble. Another example is every, every rain, every sleeper, every drinker, every traffic. Another one is strong, strong smell, strong sense, strong denial. There are lots of examples for these adjective collocations too. Um, number three, now collocation. In this type of collocation, you can use a verb as well as a noun to form the group of words. For example, service industry, tea leave, dogs back, water flows, blood vision, physical analysis, and many others. In summary, a familiar grouping of words which appears together because of their habitual use and thus creating the same meaning is called collocation. Collocation helps in beautifying English language. We have verb collocation, adjective collocation, now collocation. Assignments. Define collocation. Make collocation sentences and explain the meaning of the collocation words in the sentence. Kindly submit your answers to the email address below. With that, we have come to the end of today's class section. Thanks for watching.